Outreach Story Mentor, OSM. This is a very uh, basic, but I think a workhorse uh, strategy that um, we would do well to adopt as our most basic strategy for onboarding more people to Bitcoin Cash. Right. In an earlier uh, vlog, I talked about how in Bitcoin Cash, we really we just need more people. We don't have enough people. Um, and to get them, you know, we're not going to get them by doing the same things that have been done in the past, in my humble opinion. Right. Uh, I see a lot of efforts in Bitcoin Cash uh, oriented around reinforcing existing relationships. Right. There, I have nothing to say against that. I mean, that's that's fine. But I would like to see um, I would like to see us build an engine that uh, onboards new people, new new people. And you know, some some people will say, "Well, we just got to pull projects away from BSC and ETH and et cetera, et cetera." Um, and I don't disagree with that. But like, also just trying to just trying to pull people from other crypto projects is a bit of a zero sum game. We need to pull new people, people completely new or people who are only very, very loosely attached to the crypto space currently. Um, because we have to be growing, right? If we're not constantly bringing in new people, uh, then we're always reduced to, you know, asking the same people to do the same things, right? And, um, and when there are splits, then we lose people. And then, um, you know, that, that tends to suggest a constant downward trajectory, which is absolutely not, not good. That's not good. So here's the basic strategy. We just need more people. And uh, so we're going to do outreach, right? We're going to reach out to new people everywhere in different places. We'll try a bunch of different strategies, you know, uh, maybe, uh, you know, YouTubers, right? Or a certain kind of YouTubers, maybe book authors, maybe uh, people in X uh, region, you know, maybe sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, maybe uh, large corporations in Venezuela. Right. Maybe, um, you know, maybe people who are uh, interested in mining, but maybe people who read Coindesk. Right. There are there's a long, long tail of uh, different mm, niches. Right. Of people that, you know, we could even just reach out to people who are starting, who have registered new businesses in Lagos, Nigeria, for example. Right. People who just bought land. Right. Or, um, you know, or we could reach out to um, new smartphone owners in, uh, you know, Kuala Lumpur. There are the, you know, the list. There's so many different ways. So we outreach and we outreach constantly. And when we outreach. Step two is we tell the Bitcoin Cash story. Right. So here's where we want to tell our story. Why, what makes Bitcoin Cash special? What are our values? What are our principles? What's our history? What is uh, what makes what sets Bitcoin and Cash apart? What is the unique value that Bitcoin Cash, you know, as a nation perhaps, offers to new people? Build your prosperity with Bitcoin Cash. Um, we tell a story, right? And so this is kind of basically brand marketing at a certain level, right? And then, um, you know, we put them into uh, different marketing funnels and whatnot. Uh, you know, there can be self-study education, you know, telegram groups, discords, uh, subreddits, whatever, you know, the, the whole the whole thing, you know, in an organized fashion, people can be introduced and educated until they are literate in Bitcoin Cash. Right. Because Bitcoin Cash kind of has its own language as well as its own principles and whatnot. You know, we we talk about things like the white paper, peer to peer electronic cash, decentralized permissionlessness, uh, self custody. Right. Um, yeah. So uh, then step three of the strategy is we mentor them. Yeah. So, you know, as people interact with the ecosystem, with the software, with the libraries, with the, the 
the fun, the t educational funnels uh, with the news, etc. We um, we offer spaces and we maintain attitudes uh, and dispositions that support these new people. You know, not not that tolerate bad behavior, of course. You know, I'm I'm uh, I'm a fan of uh, not associating with people who are uh, consistently uh, toxic, but you know, that is friendly. And I think, um, you know, for example, you know, even it's amazing that, uh, you know, RBTC until recently actually, um, was really on an upward streak in terms of people being nice. But then I think some tether, uh, sock puppets or whatever came in there. But anyway, it's always a constant struggle there, but, um, mentor, right? You know, people, I think there's a, you know, I think there's a lot of overlap between the Bitcoin Cash space space and a lot of libertarian uh, spaces. And, you know, in the libertarian space, people are just like, well, the market will take care of it, right? The market will take care of it. Don't bother me with these details, right? Um, and, you know, I've like for decades been identifying that, that that's kind of a dumb thing to say, right? Because we are the marketplace, right? And so like the choices that we make every day are the choices of the marketplace. So if we just say, ah, let somebody else do it, right? And then, so that's kind of like the marketplace choosing not to do it, yeah? And likewise, um, you know, we can't, I don't think that, you know, those of us who really wanna see Bitcoin Cash grow, I don't think it's enough for us to say, oh yeah, just go to some Telegram group or just put up a thread, right? Uh, I think we have to take a more active uh, um, posture than that. We have to, you know, uh, do a little hand holding and uh, do a little bit of personalized um, help with people, right? Of course, you know, I'm never a fan of, you know, like what I call changing diapers, right? Uh, like overdoing it. Like the the student always has to you know, seek out the teacher, really, um, you know, and so when somebody asks, like, I'm glad to help, right, some, you know, somebody new I'm referring to, right, I'm always glad to help or offer some thoughts or words of encouragement, but, like, it doesn't make, we, it doesn't make sense for, for us to pursue one-on-one, -on -one, right, but to be available, right, and that doesn't mean private conversations either, it means, for example, being active in Reddit threads and Telegram groups and Discord groups and uh, Discord channels. And, uh, and for example, I created a forum.bitcoincash.site, which is a discourse forum. Uh, and that's, I think that's going to be a great place uh, to uh, mentor people, right? Because it's away from the sometimes toxicity of Reddit. Um, and, you know, telegram groups can, some of them are just proudly toxic. And even the ones that aren't are, uh, you know, it's just a, like a river of comments, right? It's the, I think the forum format is a little more suitable. So, so if you're watching this and you're looking for uh, help uh, getting started uh, building in Bitcoin Cash or, or using Bitcoin Cash, you know, whatever you want to do with Bitcoin Cash, you can always create a new thread at a new post at uh, forum.bitcoincash.site, S-I-T-E, and, um, and we, we will help you. So anyway, uh, OSM, Outreach Story Mentor, this is the basic strategy uh, that I think we should adopt, that I'm going to be, I'm I'm, I mean, I'm developing it, I'm adopting it, um, and I hope to test it uh, more thoroughly uh, the rest of the year and uh, into 2022. And let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.